So unit 13a, let's have a look at the disorders of consciousness. So what are the causes of unconsciousness? Well, head injuries, poisoning or drugs, hypothermia, heat stroke, epilepsy or diabetes, heart attack, stroke and shock. Con concussion, recognition. Uh, with concussion, you'd recognise that by there being a brief loss of consciousness, dizziness and mild headache, disturbed vision, loss of memory, pale, cold and clammy skin, and nausea. The treatment for concussion, sit the conscious casually down or place in recovery position if they are unsteady. If unconscious and breathing, place in the recovery position. Monitor airway, breathing and response levels. If unconscious for more than three minutes, dial 999 or 112, the emergency services. Cerebral compression, how do you recognise it? Um, it usually happens because of a head injury. So is there history or evidence of a head injury? Intense headache, slow and noisy breathing, slow and strong pulse, unequal pupils, high temperature, flushed appearance, drowsiness, change in personality, paralysis and weakness in the limbs, skull fracture could lead to fluid escaping from the ears and nose. This is cerebral spinal fluid. So with cerebral compression, the treatment is to lay the casualty down, head and shoulders raised, dial the emergency services for an ambulance, if unconscious and breathing normally, leave the casualty in position found and maintain their airways as there may be damage to the neck. Monitor airway, breathing and response levels. Do not give the casualty anything to eat, drink or smoke. And how do you recognise a skull fracture? There could be fluid coming from the ear or nose. Evidence of head injury and unconsciousness. A wound, bruise or depression in the skull. Soft area or depression of the scalp, blood in the whites of eyes, distortion to the head and face, and perhaps an associated spinal injury. And treatment for skull fracture, if you suspect spinal injury, do not move the casualty. Lay the casualty down, head and shoulders raised if you are able to move them. Dial 999-112 for an ambulance. Monitor airway, breathing and response levels. Cover the ear with a sterile dressing. Control bleeding and fluid loss. All head injuries must be advised to go to hospital. And with stroke, remember the acronym FAST. F is facial weakness. Can the person smile as the mouth or eye dropped or drooped? Arm weakness. Can the person raise both arms? Speech problems. Can the person speak clearly and understand what you say? And it's time to call the emergency services, either 999 or 112. Stroke is a medical emergency. By calling the emergency services early, treatment can be given which can prevent further brain damage. On treatment for stroke, if conscious, lay the casualty down and raise head and shoulders. Turn the head to one side. If unconscious, place the casualty in the recovery position. Loosen tight clothing. Reassure and call either 999 or 112. Monitor airway, breathing and response levels. Major epilepsy. Recognition. There's usually a warning period. The casualty becomes rigid and often cries out. The sudden collapse uh, becomes unconscious, which is the tonic phase. Cyanosis may be present and breathing may cease. Convulsive movement, which can be violent, and this is the clonic phase. There may be loss of blood or a bowel control. They may have clenched jaw and congestion of the face. And they become flaccid as their fit subsides. And the treatment for major epilepsy, support or ease the casualties fall. Make space around the casualty. Ask bystanders to move away. Protect the casualty's head. Record the duration of the seizure. 
Dial emergency services if they're unconscious for longer than 10 minutes or the seizure lasts for longer than five minutes or there are repeated seizures or it's the first seizure. Do not, under any circumstances, restrain the casualty or put anything in their mouth. Minor epilepsy, uh, you recognize this by a sudden absence or switching off, staring blankly ahead, slight twitching of the face, lips, eyes and limbs, chewing lip, smacking, plucking of clothing, noises. Treatment, make them safe, sit them down, calm and reassure them. Monitor and discuss the condition with the casualty and refer to doctor. Diabetes. Uh, again, I won't go through all of these. Um, if you want to pause the video and uh, do a screenshot, press print that out. Uh, you've got two types. Hyper, which means too much, and hypo, which means too little. So it's hyperglycemia and hypoglycemia. Uh, what it means basically, hyper is too much sugar, hypo is too little sugar. And it just shows the different things that could happen through hyper and hypoglycemia. And for treatment, hyper, which is too much sugar, call for an ambulance. If unconscious, put them in a recovery position. Monitor breathing and response levels. And for too little sugar or hypoglycemia, sit the casualty down. Give them a sugary drink, give them a sweet food, monitor and reassure, call ambulance if ineffective, and if unconscious, put them into the recovery position and monitor closely. What could be wrong with a casualty who is staring blankly, plucking at clothing with slight twitching movements and who is unresponsive? Sounds like our cameraman. Is it A, major epileptic seizure, B, minor epileptic seizure, C. Shock or D. Diabetic coma. So again, uh, choose which you think is the correct one. Uh, if you want time to do it, just pause the video. Is it A, B, C or D? And if you remember, it should be... A minor epileptic shock. In what position what should you place a conscious casualty suffering from a stroke? A. Lying flat with legs raised. B. Sitting up. C. Recovery position. Or D. Lying with head and shoulders raised. Again, which one do you think it is? Is it A. Who's suffering from a stroke? So lying flat with legs raised. Sit up. Recovery position. Or lying with head and shoulders raised. Let's go for... Is the correct answer? A casualty has clear fluid spotted with blood coming from ears and nose. What condition do you think he or she is suffering from? Is it A, stroke, B, a skull fracture, C, concussion, or D, high blood pressure? So the clear fluid spotted with blood is cerebral spinal fluid, yes, sir. and that occurs because of a skull fracture. How would you initially treat a conscious diabetic suffering from hypoglycemia? A. Give a sugary drink. B. Suggest the casualty sees their GP. C. Advise exercise to burn off excess sugar. Or D. Give nothing to eat or drink. Now remember, hypoglycemia is lack of sugar or not enough sugar in your diet. So we need to give them... sugary drink. 